hi everyone this is another channel message for you guys today hope everyone is doing well um keep in mind to use your discernment when it comes to these readings this may resonate for you or energy around you okay um, um also keep in mind that if you guys needed a personal reading you're more than welcome to email me but anywho uh, let's tap into this energy we got this cancer in the fourth fourth house with jupiter so looks like the fourth house keeps coming out okay and Jupiter keeps coming out and water. Okay. Last reading, it was Pisces. So someone is, is thriving at home. They make their family proud. Someone here makes their family proud. Okay. Um, someone is being called to be the most successful person in their family. Um, I'm also hearing something about the ancestors being very proud of someone's Home life, mother skills, good luck when it comes to this energy. Someone here is getting good luck in this, okay? Prosperous. I'm hearing something, someone prospering, okay? You guys could be prospering, okay, in your home life. I'm also hearing someone here works from home. Jupiter represents, you know, abundance, finances, right? Well, abundance and good luck, okay? Um, someone here may be getting a home. I was having a dream the other night where I... I was inside of a, a house of many rooms. There was many rooms in the house. And, but there were spirits hiding all through the house. So I'm not sure if this was a low vibrational house or a high vibrational house. It looked like a house that was left unattended, but it was really big. It wasn't messy. It looked very empty, maybe creaky. Maybe there was like old stuff, old furniture in the home. It wasn't messy though. Maybe dusty though. So someone may be leaving you a home, a collective, a home that was unattended. No one lived in this house for a really long time. I remember I was walking around the home. I was looking outside the windows. I was walking in each room, inspecting each room. Like, oh my God, this is like the most immaculate house. Like who would leave this house unattended, right? There's something here about a house or a home, okay? And I'm also getting something about someone working from home too. And you make your family proud, okay? What is this energy? We have falling angels, spiritual narcolepsy. Okay, someone here doesn't want you to be confident, all right? Oh, wow, a tidy house, clarity and organization. Okay, someone here may have a job of cleaning homes. Okay, maybe they clean homes as an occupation. There's something about occupation and homes for you guys that makes people proud of you. Okay. We got Metox, repairing the mind, body, and spirit, and preparations come to fruition with adaptability. You're going to be called to adapt to something out here. Also... Your skills or something, something about your skills are going to be noticed. People are going to come towards you or spirit needs you to prepare for someone or something. Yeah, they need you to repair your mind, body and spirit. So just like self-care, you see how she's in the tub? Take care of your body, take care of your health at around this time because you're going to be preparing for something to come in for you. Repairing the veil. Yeah, meditation and stillness. Teachability. Wandering between realms. Okay. What is this? Energy, please. What is this? Energy spirit, Holy Spirit and angels. Okay, so we have Earth Star activation. I don't like this energy because this represents Isis, which represents underground magic. Harnessing energy. Someone doesn't want someone to move. So remember to clear out your energy right now. Something here is not your energy. It's someone else's energy. Okay, someone here is, could be playing with magic to keep something like not moving or 
stagnant, okay? They're also being called the um, gather up something, gather up your tools. I feel like spirit is trying to prepare you for something out here. It's in your Akashic records too. Like your Akashic records play a big part in this. Invite help and guidance. What is this energy, please? Holy Spirit and angels. Clear out your mind, clear out your body, and clear out your spirit. Someone here is doing magic right now. Detachment. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside, with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's when it's fulfilled. Something here is yours no matter what. Even if you detach from it, divine source receiving. Yeah, you're going to be receiving something out here. Divine abundance and individuality. Someone sees that you deserve something out here because you're an individual. Someone here is like delusional because they feel like they deserve something that they are not, they're not getting it. They're not getting it at all. But you deserve it because you're detaching from it. Someone doesn't recognize the art of detachment. And instead of detaching and loving themselves, they try to stagnate other people. Um, but this is not going to work because you guys are always clearing off your energy or something. Something about you guys are, you're, you're preparing yourself right now. You are secluded maybe in your home. I feel like you guys don't care about whatever is coming in for you guys. And that's exactly why you're getting it. You got 888 Divine Abundance. Yep. Gifts and blessings. This came out in the last reading. Manifest 333. Yeah. Whatever you guys are manifesting is coming in for you guys. Um, you guys may have manifested something and forgot about it. Okay. So we have this is a setup out here. So something out here is being set up for you. But we'll, we'll channel in to see if that's good or bad. Okay. I feel like you were patient and you waited on God for something to come in. And it's coming in for you. What is this energy? Ask the right questions. This could be about an inheritance. Someone here may be asking you questions. Be careful of what you answer because it could be a setup. And I'm getting deja vu. I don't know why I'm getting deja vu. I feel like I've, I'm... I have done this reading before. I've done something before. We have materials, diamonds, and gold. Yes, you guys are getting materials. I don't think I have an inheritance. Do I have an inheritance card in here? But let's see. You have a gift out here for you guys. It's for you. It has your name on it. This gift has your name on it. But be careful of being set up by people asking you questions. Asking you too many questions. Be careful being interrogated, interviewed, things as such. If you have that sort of position where you're being interviewed, okay? Be careful what you answer to is what I'm hearing. What else? What else, Holy Spirit and angels, for this energy, please? Okay, yeah, so we have racism and prejudice. Someone here prejudged you. They thought that you didn't deserve something. Third eye chakra out here. Karmic mother and Celtic came out. Community gossip, bad counsel, satanic sacrifice, blessed family only staying for money. Hmm. 
People know about this person trying to block you. Yeah, we got time wasted. There, it's not going to work because you're aligning your chakras and you're heading towards a divine union. Um, someone's trying to sacrifice you. Could be your mother or something like that. Or a mother. Okay, so just stay secluded. Just stay in the energy of preparing for yourself. Okay, staying healthy. Preparing for this uh, blessing. A karmic mother may be coming towards you to ask you questions. We have the two of wands and the queen of wands. This queen of wands knows where she's going. This queen of wands is very confident. I feel like someone at a distance is planning on coming towards you to ask you questions. Maybe to over manipulate something. I feel like you see that something here is a setup. Or you will see that something is a setup as soon as they come around. Hold on, let me shuffle these cards really good. Holy Spirit and Angels, what is the energy please for this reading? Ten of swords in reverse with the seven of wands and the devil out here. Someone here try to uh, put a bunch of knives in your back, maybe betray you, block something for you. This person is obsessed with doing this. This is all this person knows how to do. Okay. I don't think it's your mother that's racist and prejudiced of you, but this is definitely a mother out here. This mother is going to be all up in your business. So just watch what you say. Yeah, we got the Five of Wands and the King of Wands out here. Someone is determined to cause conflict for you so that you don't get something. Yeah, the Lovers in the Verses all has to do with like a lover situation or a breakup out here. This King of Wands energy could be like fighting for you or something. Or you could be fighting for someone and breaking up with someone else. It's causing conflicts out here. Yeah, we have the uh, Knight of Cups in the reverse. Someone here is very jealous and envious. Ten of Swords. Everything is fine. With the World card. Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Um, something isn't going to these people or this person. It's going to you. And I feel like either you don't care or you don't know. But they know. They see what's going on here. Someone here thought that you didn't deserve your you didn't deserve your manifestations because of your race or they prejudged you. We got the four cups in the reverse out here. Also, you're not getting rejected. Someone here is jealous because you're not getting rejected. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like there's people out here trying to find proof of something. Someone here could be trying to like look into something about you. Someone also loves how detached you are. To avoid towers. We have the Knight of Wands in the reverse and the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, something here is backfiring on someone else. So it's like you... Someone here is making plans for you. Or they're setting something up for you so that you can inherit it. Inherit it. We got gifts and blessings and materials, diamonds and gold. So gifts and blessings are totally different from materialistic stuff. Maybe someone out here is fighting over materials right now. And you're, you get your abundance a different way. You're manifesting gifts and blessings. Yeah, we got the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Someone is just very spiteful when it comes to money. They'll do whatever it takes. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, but they're not getting something. It's not going to them. Nine of Wands in reverse, the Three of Swords. Yeah, they feel heartbroken or they feel like they got to give up now. Someone here is very vindictive, not loyal to this King of Wands energy that everyone wants. So a lot of people may want this King of Wands energy, but they're not loyal or this King of Pentacles is not, this Queen of Pentacles is not loyal. Um... 
this could be okay this could be this uh queen of pentacles sun Two of Pentacles in the reverse. No longer balancing. No longer handling something here. So this Queen of Pentacles may have a position. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Someone here is losing a lot based off of you getting chosen for something. So someone here is jealous. They feel like you don't deserve something because of your race or their prejudice or something. Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're not in any sort of loss. But they are. Everything is backfiring for them. Someone here really thinks that they can, like, control something for everybody. Like, they, they think that they control people's lives or something. But they're, like, losing money. Like, they don't have anything. They're broke. Or they can't, they don't know how to manifest. Two of Pentacles is in the reverse. So it's like they're un... Like, they, they can't handle something. This person is also like a martyr. Like this person, like um, they claim positions and then they. Okay, I'm hearing something weird. Okay, hold on, give me a second. They have a certain position, but they don't like the position that they're in. This Queen of Pentacles in reverse energy. So it's like spirit is saying, fine, you don't have to have the position. It's going to go on to someone else. And now they're mad. There was something that was supposed to go to you and it didn't go to you. If it goes to you, they're going to be losing a lot. They're going to be losing a legacy or something like that. Clarify the five of wands. So there's a lot of conflict going on out here. Five of Wands, competition. Someone here is watching the fighting go down, but they're not engaging in it. We got the Ten of Swords in the reverse, the King of Cups, and the Four of Swords. Yeah. And then we got Judgment out here. So this King of Cups knows what he wants to do. He's meditating on his next move or something. Meanwhile, everybody is fighting. Yeah, we got the Nine of Swords out here. So... People are fighting because this King of Cups is making a decision. They're making plans. They want to stop these plans or something. Yeah, because they really thought that they were going to uh, win against an empress or something. Um, but yeah, they're like sitting there. They're trying to rest in bed. And meanwhile, while they're trying to rest, everyone is fighting around them. I don't feel like uh, something here is ending, though. I feel like someone here does the most or they do too much. Clarify the King of Wands. They just like want to get away from these people or they want to rest. Yeah, we got judgment out here with the eight of pentacles in the reverse with the ten of wands. Justice in the reverse, the page of wands in the reverse. They're starting to realize why things never worked out in the situation. It's like things just don't work out in the situation. It becomes very burdensome. It becomes worse. So they're making a judgment call for their life. Something here is like too much work, so they'd rather not do it, I guess. Clarify the lovers in the reverse. Lovers in the reverse. So someone here is breaking up with someone, it looks like. Yeah, we got the world card, the five of pentacles, and the empress. The nine of wands in the reverse, and the seven of pentacles in, out here. So this empress is getting something because these two people are breaking up. I feel like this empress out here is like, she's like out of the mix, but she's the reason why these people are breaking up in a way. I don't feel like you're, I feel like you're detached from the whole situation though. Why the empress? Because this could be the mother. Clarify the empress. I'm also getting like after a breakup, the empress became very abundant on her own. So it's like exposing other people that she's abundant. Yeah, the Page of Swords in reverse. Someone here is obsessively spying on somebody. Talking crap about the Empress. Trying to hold someone back with the Knight of Wands in reverse. They don't want someone to passionately go towards somebody. They don't even want this person to be friends with somebody. 
but it's going to be unsuccessful. Their magic is unsuccessful here. I feel like it's because they're not following the rules. They're not following the rules out here. Knight of Cups in the reverse. So now they're jealous. They cannot compare to the Empress. Knight of Cups in the reverse. But I feel like they want to approach the Empress, though. They want to approach her. They're not just going to watch her. Yeah, the Knight of Swords in the reverse with the Two of Cups and the Knight of Wands in the reverse. Be careful people coming around you trying to, I don't know, ruin things for you. Okay? Pretending to be your friend or something. Someone is really mad that someone out here is coming together with somebody. They do not want someone to be around you at all. So they may come, come to you first before this person passionately comes toward you to try to like get information for, from you or something. Someone here may pretend to be your friend just so that they can get information or... Yeah, this person is very childish. That's why it says this is a setup. You know what? Let's clarify that. What is this setup about? What is this setup about? What is this setup about? Looks like questions. Questioning. We got Agent for God out here that came out. Oh, There's a lot of cards. Hold on. I just saw Agent for God. We got False High Priestess out here. Let me read everything that just came out. False High Priestess. Yeah, we got the Divine Mother. Meditation and stillness. Remember what I said about you guys just clearing out your energy and meditating. Yes, yeah, stay out of the way, ancestors. Past life soulmate is here. Blockages and stagnation. Yeah, someone here is coming from the past to block you. Yeah, unwanted pregnancy. Master of disguise. Sacral chakra. Relocating, changing home, solar plexus chakra, and Libra. Yep, this person doesn't want you to get a home. They don't want you to get a home. This person may also pretend to be a high priestess in a way, but they're not, they're not a high priestess because they don't work for God. You do. Okay. When you meditate, you, you can see when you meditate and you isolate from everybody, you can see everyone's true intentions when they come around you. Clarify the four cups in the reverse. So they're trying to set up an agent of God. Agent, yeah. Clarify the four cups in the reverse. Yeah, we got the five of swords, the nine of cups in the reverse. Someone here is jealous. And then we have the emperor in the reverse. Now they're trying to control things or they're realizing that they have no control over the situation. They thought that they had control, but it's like, they're delusional. They really think that they have control over the situation. They're really just exposing how selfish that they are. We got the Hierophant with the star out here. Yeah, you don't conform to society views or religious views. You're a free spirit. And we got strength in the reverse with temperance. Yeah, um, you're exposing someone's weakness, weaknesses. So they don't like this. They're like, who do you think you are? Who does this person think that they are? They're real jealous. Clarify the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Ten of Swords. Everything is fine here. So it looks like major endings are happening here. Justice in the reverse with the Seven of Swords. Someone's going to get caught. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. They're getting caught. Someone's not able to um, show something. Or prove something. They're not able to prove something. So they're going to come towards you to get the proof. But what they're going to do is they're going to get exposed for this. Everything is fine. I feel like someone here is like looking through their phone. Trying to find proof that you don't deserve something. Or proof of, of their prejudgment. Okay. Ten of Swords, but they don't have it. I 
I don't know what they're trying to prove, though. Ten of Swords. Ace of Cups in reverse. Something here is unrequited. And the Moon card. Okay. Three of Pentacles. Someone here always had a fake personality. And they're always in denial. Someone here didn't live off of truth. They lived off of like passion and lust and things like that. So it's exposing this person. I'm also, you know, like someone here behind the scenes, like looking into something at night. Something here is hidden. Why the moon? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Someone here is hiding their lifestyle. We have um, the death card out here. Hiding their lifestyle. They're not independent. They're, they're, people are noticing that this person is doing this because they're not independent. They have nothing going on. But they like to make it seem that way. So this person just lived their life off of lies. And I feel like oh, another thing that they're doing, they, they spy on people or something. And the Eight of Cups in reverse, they cannot move forward or they cannot walk away from certain things. I feel like everything is backfiring on this person. They might not see it. Why the Eight of Cups in the reverse? Someone can't move on from someone or something. Oh, they want someone to not be able to move on from them. Got it. Yeah, they want someone else to not be able to move on from them. Like, I'm hearing, don't turn your back on me. Eight of Cups in the reverse. How dare you walk away from things that no longer serve you. Yeah, the Four of Wands in reverse, Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Queen of Wands, yeah. This could be your guys' own mother. This Queen of Wands mother. Seven of Pentacles out here with the Three of Wands in the reverse and the Page of Cups in the reverse with the Star. So this person is very fake. They don't like you. They're receiving karma. Everything is going unstable around them. They're trying to like keep everyone together or keep things together so that they don't lose their stability, but they're losing it. Or keep their marriage together even though they're a liar. They're really disloyal. Okay. Yeah, they're getting karma. Things are not going in their favor at all. And they're kind of scared and they're not telling anybody because they lie. Someone here has nothing to offer or like, I don't know. They have no proof of that they're living the life that they claim to live. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm also getting like, um, well, I'll say that in a minute. We have the Magician in the reverse out here with the Fool card. And then we have the Devil. Yeah. Seven of Swords. They see... Just be careful. Someone here is trying to sabotage you. Could be a Capricorn. Knight of... Uh, yeah, they don't want someone to become loyal to somebody. They don't want someone to be loyal to somebody and heal, heal, heal things and move forward. Could also be a False High Priestess too. Maybe someone gives money to a False High Priestess. Someone here is doing a lot of magic. I'm not even going to lie. They're doing a lot of manipulation tactics so that someone cannot move forward. Or like they're really positive about doing this. They're like, I know what I'll do. And then they blindly give themselves to the devil, it looks like. Why the devil? Page of Cups in reverse, yeah. Ten of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Swords. Two of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're going to notice this. Per you're going to call this person out or they don't like that you're calling them out. This person is very unapologetic for what they do, but this is also why they're not getting blessed. I feel like also it's like if they blocked an opportunity for you or they did some magic so that you wouldn't get an opportunity, it's coming back around to you because it's rightfully yours. Something here is rightfully yours. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. The chariot in the reverse, the three of swords, eight of swords in the reverse, king of pentacles. Okay, so the king of pentacles is upright. He's escaping from this and it's like breaking this person's heart. Or there's a third party out here that feels betrayed because of this. Yeah, they're releasing this um, person who 
I don't know, I feel like they're just scattered all over the place. They just feel like they're dead weight or someone here is trying to cause obstacles for somebody. They're not happy where they're at. They want to heal something from someone in the past. Why the chariot in the reverse? What is this? Seven of Wands. They're trying to block somebody. They're trying to block somebody. So I'm hearing, oh, so you try to block me or you try to mess up my car. You try to mess up my finances. You try to mess up my movement forward. They see this now. At first, maybe they weren't seeing this. They're seeing it now. They see exactly what's going on out here. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this is a group of people or someone here got to file bankruptcy or they're just losing a lot of money. Ten of Pentacles is the outcome in the reverse. Yeah, we got Temperance, the Eight of Wands in the reverse. They did this to an Earth Angel. Queen of Cups in the reverse out here with the Hierophant in the reverse. They broke the rules. There's also a divorce going on out here. Um, clarify Temperance. Clarified temperance. Something here is coming back to you that's rightfully yours. But it'll be a setup with someone coming around you asking questions. So make sure you're prepared to be questioned. Temperance. Because they're losing a lot and they don't. Temperance. Yeah, the Six of Wands in reverse, High Priestess in reverse. Someone also is getting exposed as a false High Priestess or someone that does not follow their intuition. They didn't follow their intuition. I'm also going to like you're smarter than this person. So if they do try to question you or try to invite you out for drinks or something, you're going to avoid it or you're going to deny it or you're going to not speak. You're going to pretend like you don't see what the heck is going on. Page of Wands in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse. Yeah. King of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. You're going to just focus on your stability, your money, your loyalty to what you got going on. Okay. Also, this masculine could be doing this too. Someone here feels blocked from your energy. I feel like someone here is very emotionally unstable and they don't deserve a position. But they had it for some reason. They... they Someone here took a position from you that you deserve, but you didn't really care too much about it. But this is exactly why you're getting this. So it's funny how that works out, huh? We got health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So focus on your health right now. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. If something here was taken away from you forgive people because you're getting it back just in a different way okay we have perseverance i know that i can do whatever i set my mind to i feel like you persevered through something yeah indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of life all aspects of life even when people try to question you yeah peace i'm a being of love and i release all negative energy relationship is in the reverse though there's someone coming around you trying to rekindle a relationship. But it's all because you're inheriting something or you're getting something out here. Um, clarify health. Envy. I'm the same as everybody but with different challenges. So someone is looking at you with envy. Because like you're coming off as someone very healthy or, I don't know, this person thinks that they can't come around you. Yeah, denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I place it with the inside of awareness, self-esteem. Yeah, they think that you think that you're better than them and you're just laughing at them and forgiving them. Self-esteem. I possess the gift of the soul that benefits me and others. Adversity, yeah, you got high self-esteem. That's why people were trying to stagnate your growth and you just let it go. You letting it go show that you had a high self-esteem too. It's like you didn't really care too much about what the heck was going on. 
Okay, yeah, humor. I, fo I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. It's like you really didn't care. Yeah, denial, empathy, peace, pride. Someone here was... Um, so someone here was like, oh, she's lying. She's not in the energy. She, she doesn't have self-love or she's not healthy or she's not this, she's not that. But it was the truth the whole time. You obviously had nothing to hide and you were even willing to detach from this whole situation and not um, fight with these people. I feel like you just sat back and watched people fight over this. I'm seeing a bunch of clowns like you see what you see and what you see is nothing but clowns out here. Give me one card to conclude this matter. Give me one card. <laughs> like I'm, I'm hearing you say like uh, no offense, but you guys are a bunch of clowns. You guys look like clowns. Every time I come around, you guys, it just looks like clownery. Yeah, so we have painting the roses red, covering up errors. So now someone here has to cover up their errors. Because you shine through something or you made it through something. You made it through something impossible too. And instead of using their time to excel in life, they use their time to make it seem like you were like crazy or... I don't know. I, I don't see someone that's focused on their health, their mind, body, and spirit as someone that's crazy. So this is why these people are being exposed. They got to cover up their errors right now. All right. So this is your guys' reading. Um, hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.